So this would be your low fleet of 620s. So today, we're gonna to take you on a factory tour of the new camp facility in Sugar Creek, Ohio. Oh, that's great. That's beautiful. I've seen many, many farm fields, but I love the fact that there's so many hills. It just has this picturesque look. We absolutely recommend you coming here. They have beautiful twisty turny roads, farms, hills. It's spectacular. We're getting really close. We're about four minutes away. Nice to see you. Yeah, we have one. Thank you, honey. Oh, over there? Yeah, a lot of them. Look at that. See your see your eye. And some tabs. Yay. So we are here, but it seems like there's lack of parking or... Very busy day, I guess. Yeah, so we are trying to find a place and Scott might need to ask someone where we need to park. Busy, busy, busy. Home sweet home for our camper. There's a thunderstorm coming. It's getting very, very windy. I think we made it here just in time. I got a first raindrop. Thunderstorms so, going in. Yes, it's a little windy outside. Um, so today is cookie day, so you guys can help yourself to a cookie. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Have a look around. Awesome, thank All you. Right. Thank you. This is perfect for going on the weekend. Yeah. Imagine this, like we used to camp on our Highlander. Uh -huh. This would be definitely That's an improvement. Perfect. Now this is the bigger one. Adorable. Oh, I like the little cast iron pan. Clean and dirty. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ooh. All safe now. Yeah. We're founded here in Sugar Creek, Ohio. We've always been here. We were in a little building in town or over that way, and then we were in a building across the valley here. We broke ground on this end of the building in 2014. It's about 65,000 square feet. And then we broke ground on that end of the building in 2016. And that's about 90,000 square feet. So you're like 150,000 yeah. square feet. And then is, is that your new service center over there? We broke ground on that in April, end of uh, April, beginning of May, and that is our new service facility. We're excited. It should help help everyone out. Like it should help you guys out, our customers. It yeah. should help our dealers out. Um, it should just be a, a better experience overall. Yeah, that's awesome. That brings us to this here. Joe, our founder, went to a leadership conference and uh, this is what he came back with, right? I just like to highlight the first paragraph to be a group of men and women that care deeply for each other, honor one another, are transparent, build relationships that change people's lives. My experience is this is how they operate, right? When no one's here, this is how they operate. When this building's full of customers or people, this is how they operate. They're very consistent, you know, they don't just do it for a show, they do it because that's who they are bit of history here as well. So this represents the entirety of our company in 2010. Um, all 12 of them. <laughs> so we've gone from about 12 employees to we're running around 175, 180 employees right now. <laughs> oh, wow. So we print all of our graphics here in house and they're all printed here in this room. Okay. Um, just this is where all that, all that magic happens. We don't do custom graphics per se. We pretty much stick with what we got, but um, that's where all of this gets done. I love all that machinery, like CNC cutting machines. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see the machines from where, you, where, where we'll be, but you can't really like see what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yep, yeah, we're gonna come right through this door here. This is where you go to the So right out here to the floor. This 
this is the tab 400 line. This is our largest teardrop that we build. It's pretty tall. Like I can stand up inside of it pretty easily. Right now we're building around 19 units a week, depending on supply chain, but right now it's about 19 units a week. So that equals out to four stations a day. So, and then three stations on Friday. Hence the reason they get done a little earlier on Friday. Units start here. They actually just flipped this one over. They're getting ready to do a roll. So this one's getting ready to roll down one spot. The wheels are actually in a, like a, a rolling system. So we just physically push them down one space at a time. The, uh, the units will move, obviously. The people do not. They just stay in their stations and just do the same job approximately four times a day. This is all part of this line. This is our cabinetry comes in in, in carts and then in this place, we assemble all the cabinetry, put it all together. It gets put on this lift here. Once they're ready for it, they lower it down, pick it off as they need it, put it right on the bill and keep right on going. This is how all of our units start. You can get a good idea of this. They start upside down here. So the tanks go on and everything gets put on. Then when it gets flipped over, it gets put in these wheel tracks. You see those wheel tracks that they're in? Yep. And that's how we easily push them down one at a time. Ah, all right. So we use one solid sheet of aluminum for the roof. You see that big bluish white roll over there to the right? Yep. That's the aluminum roof. So that'll be pulled over the top, put in place. This is our tagline here. So this is the smallest unit that we build. It's got an outdoor kitchen, it's got fresh water, AC, and now heat. The 2021s and 2022s all have a heat option as well. So this cart represents one Tab 320S. So all the cabinetry for this Tab 320 is on this cart. Our original building that we built here in 2014 stopped right here. So all of what you're getting ready to see, all the woodworking and stuff, was trying to be done down this line here. We expanded and made this all into prep area, receiving, things like that. Our plumbing department, which is down around the corner, and our electrical department, which is also down there around the corner, uh, those departments didn't exist. All what's being done there used to be done on the line. And so by expanding, we've, we've allowed a lot more prep space and made our lines a lot more efficient. One thing we do too is twice a year we deep clean it, right? So twice a year, and we just did it about a month ago, beginning, end of June, beginning of July, and right around Christmas, we'll do a deep clean. When I say deep clean, I mean every single item is moved off the shelves, every single shelf is wiped down, every single beam is wiped down through the factory. Um, so we do that twice a year. Hence the reason it stays like this a lot. Every night this whole shop gets swept, like every aisle here will get swept every night. Dust is very flammable. It is. And so by keeping it very clean, it keeps our fire damage or fire hazard way down. What we do here is what I call plumbing harnesses, right? So we do plumb all this stuff together so that when it gets to the line, our guys don't have to do it, right? Um, it saves us a lot of time, a lot of energy. Uh, obviously we use residential grade PEX piping and then clamps, right? So we try to have the same people do the same jobs all the time. Bill right here behind me is one of our main clampers. He typically does about a thousand of these clamps a day. We try to have the consistency in who does what, right? Practice makes perfect. It does. And so it helps us track down any quality control issues as well. All the red bins would be plumbing. So if you see a red bin, it's for the plumbing department. All the gray bins are for our electrical department. Same idea, we try to have the same people wire the same things every time. We try to build the bins the same way every time, like this bin and this bin essentially look exactly the same. That way, uh, when guys get on the line, they know exactly what they're getting, they know if something's missing. It's easier for them to track what they need. We try to build the boxes in the order that they're going to need it as well, so they're not searching for stuff. The thing that we believe sets us apart in the industry, one of the main things is this, our cabinetry and our woodworking. And well, most of what we do is by hand. You see that we build by hand. We cut out most of our cabinetry with a CNC machine. So there's a CNC machine over there in the corner, a CNC machine at the end of the line here, and then we have this machine here called a CNC edge bander with the big black wheels on it. Uh, so what that machine does is it puts a finished edge on the countertops, tables, anything that's curvy or fancy, it puts a finished edge on it. The other two machines do all of our cabinetry cutouts, make sure they're always the same every time. So that sign is above every one of our production lines. We try to operate as a team, and that's what our what we shoot for in that team atmosphere is that service sign. The thing that matters the most to us is your happiness as a customer, right? And so that's part of our statement. And so if you couple that with service, it guides a lot of how we do our business. 
So this is where the Cirrus starts. So all the walls will get prepped here. Graphics, hatch doors, lights. Once it's done, it goes on this lift here. It goes, you can see a wall hanging up there. So that's how they get over to the line then from here. Separate from the teardrop line. So all the walls come here for that. This is super cool so far. I love it. It's so clean here, I can't get over it. This is the idea of your sidewall construction, right? You got your aluminum frame, Asdell vinyl wallpaper. And this is actually what Asdell would be like without anything on it. This is a sheet of Asdell without any cover. So this is a Cirrus truck camper roof. So this is what it looks like once it's on the camper, it gets a piece of aluminum that goes over the top. And it just floats on that. It actually isn't glued down to this directly. It's attached on the sides. So some people will say like, it looks like my roof is floating. Yes, attached on all the sides, right. but it's not attached here in the middle. The Asdo is, it's, so it's marine grade composite board. So one of the huge advantages of it is if it gets wet, it doesn't delaminate, it doesn't swell, things like that. It doesn't really absorb water. A lot of water damage over time can cause it to, to break down eventually. But Absolutely. for the most part, it mitigates the damage that water would do versus wood. Right now with the 820, so we're running at full production on that. It's around seven units a week versus those lines over there. We're running about 70 units a week between the three lines. 10 times more. Yeah, right. Yep. We only have one line for our truck campers. So we switch back and forth. Like we build a run of 620s and then uh, for a couple months and then we switch over and do a run of 820s for a couple months back and forth throughout the year. When the 920 is getting built, it'll probably be built right here on this line as well. And then we'll have to even push those runs out a little bit further. It starts here, Dwayne puts everything together. It's all, it actually starts upside down, just like the teardrops. It gets flipped over once the tanks and stuff are in and the floor gets put on. Then it moves down line, cabinetry, sidewalls. You can see how that roof, that Asdell material there on the roof, and then three stations down, that aluminum just goes right across the top there. It's an engineered light ply, right? But you got your birch veneer on the outside, solid plywood here in the middle. A lot of cabinets go into an 8, 820. A lot of work goes into making it finished. Yes. Same idea here. This will, when they're ready for that, for that, uh, for the cabinetry, this will just lower down. Hinges right here at the back. Just lowers down. They just pick it off, set it on the build. So this here hinges right here. So it ends up sitting like an angle like this. It used to be just be a slide ramp where we'd have to lower them down with a, like a hook. But then once we decided it was better this way, we put this. In. Down here's the Barefoot. The Barefoot is from a company in Europe called the Barefoot. The lady who designed it wanted to bring her design to the States, so she partnered directly with us. So we are in the process of getting it ready to go. We have to flip everything, make it all North American components as well. What you see on the right over there is the European version, and then the one on the left is our Proto 1. We're going to match it exactly as far as size goes, as far as dimensions, and we're going to try to match it as far as feel goes. That's everything from up here. You guys want to drop down and... I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. We'll see getting the back way here, so we basically kind of stay out of the production process in general. This kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of a little bit more close of what's going on. We have several of those throughout the shop. Basically, it just helps us keep track of our inventory better. We get to the end of the line here, right? They'll come down here for final inspection, testing all those things, washing, and then they'll go on out the door. So this would be their little fleet of 620s. It is a fleet, look at that. Yeah. Get your 820s on this side, 620s on this side. have a 620, 820 side by side, another 620 up there. So you can kind of get a size comparison between the two. This is how the bumpers come in, so you got your back cap of your over your door, you got your bumpers there.
So as the blue light shines on the floor, you can see where that forklift is going to be. Whether, like, so if I'm here and I'm coming around a corner, I can see that blue light. Oh, all right, all right. right? So I know if a forklift's coming. It's amazing what goes into running a factory. Right? Isn't that the truth? My goodness. I can't claim anything, any of this. This is all someone else, but it's great. They did a great job with it. Yeah. That was a pretty amazing tour. I love the facility, really clean, really nice, super organized. Yeah, so we hope that you enjoy the tour. If you have any questions about the factory that we didn't cover in this video, please let us know in the comments. And thank you to the entire New Camp team for giving us a tour, it was really fun. It was nice to meet all of you and we hope to see you again sometime soon. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.